That's my other customer cruise, as you can see here. We're going to change the pads on this electric light, okay? Take the mud guard out so we ain't going to damage that. A bit of um, tape. I'm going to pull the top off. Pull this clip out here. Little spring clip thing. I basically take this pin out this off here. Okay, leave that in. Got a new Galfa pads here. Top of the range Galfa. Very good quality scented pads. Okay, we do gold frame as well, but these are better. And then basically we're going to take the caliper off. Now you need one of these 12 point sockets, which we do provide if you need one. I'm basically going to undo this. particular bike and see the ABS okay is tie wrapped to it here so that means we gotta cut those connectors those uh, tie wraps let's grab a pair of cutters This is only on this one side. So basically we're gonna cut these off. We're gonna pull this caliper off. Okay. So the bolts aside now. What I do pull it on the caliper, push the caliper on the disc. Pull the caliper off, okay. And here we've got the caliper. What we're going to do take this pin out here, okay. And basically, what do in this case? These pads are knackered. Let's see if they go back in. Okay, if they go back in, you're okay. If not, you obviously need to clean up the pistons. Okay, these pads are knackered. Normally, you would use a uh, brake pad pushing tool, okay, which is available. Not crazy money from Halfords, eBay, wherever you want to get one from. Or well, some people just use a G crunch. Okay, pull the pads out. As you can see in here, the clip, the spring clip. Give it a quick clean up. Get a wire brush in there. Remembering this is, uh, it shouldn't be asbestos, but as you can see there, that's a hell of a lot cleaner. Okay, these are Brembo, like I say. Now, what we do is put the pads new pads in, basically that one is going to line up, he says, <laughs> easy said and done, basically that, it's going to press in there, okay, and the other one, The press in there. Normally do. Check they're fully seated. Okay. That one there isn't. See this pin here. 
pull that spring clip out. Okay, and we're seated bang on. Now I tend to leave this in to stop them moving. Then we're going to take this, clean them up, a bit of steel wool. Scraping away stuff. The screwdriver. The edge. So you can now see that's a lot better. Okay. We're now going to get a silver slip, which is very good stuff. Cover it in that. Put him back through. So what you're going to do is when this is mounted on the bike, you're going to re torque that up. Okay. You've obviously got your split pin, which we took off. That is going to go back in there. Okay. And basically, this back on it. Stick one bolt in. Just hold him. We're going to get our lock tight. And obviously, you hold it. It's going to go on like this, okay? So, we'll do the Loctite on the bolt. Take your bottom one out. Loctite on the bolt. These will be torqued to the correct boundage, which I've forgotten the tour wrench, but they will be done up to the correct boundage, of course. Tire wraps will then be replaced, okay, for the ABS sensor, and away you go. That's basically it. So that's how you change your brakes. Brake pads on a Harley Electrolyte. Put your tops back on. Bit of a weird system, but... That's about it. And then what you've obviously got to do next is not forget to pump your brakes up because obviously, you know, you're going to have to pump the pads back out. As you can see here, you bloody awkward doing this this way. But that is now bled up. Okay, and that's it. So, 
easy way of doing your brake pads. Not hard, don't be afraid to do it. So everything must be taut back up and uh, tire wraps put back on here. You can see where the old ones were. But these bolts, very important, they're torqued and also that one should be torqued. Okay, so if you're interested in any parts, give us a bell. 01773835666, alternativelycustomcruisers.com. Thank you.